With so many people that are struggling to put food on the table these days, I'm sure we're all asking ourselves the same thing. How could we make a trillion dollar company even more money? That's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. The solution is bundles. Now that Apple is switching more over to a services dependent revenue stream, how do they now start coupling those services up to make them better deals for us to compete with the inevitable successful Disney Plus, which is gonna be bundling their huge back catalog along with ESPN which will be exciting because then I can watch Corey in the house and football in the same bundle. Let's begin. So a lot of people actually get this wrong. When I first tweeted, what bundles would you guys like to see with all of Apple's different services? Some of you actually took two different subscription services, put them together, and then said they should charge more. What, what's wrong with you? Although it does sound like something Apple would do. Hey, we'll take Apple News Plus, which is 10 bucks a month, Apple TV Plus, which is five bucks a month, merge them together, 30 bucks a month, infinite stonks. But no, the actual point you wanna get across is to make people feel compelled to pay for other services so that they feel like they're getting a good deal. There's kind of an endless amount of combinations they could do, but a good example of something a company would try to get you to spend more money than you ordinarily would because you think you're getting a deal, and in a way you are, would be something like, okay, if you pay for Apple Music and Apple TV Plus, which individually would cost you $15 a month, then they will also include Apple Arcade, which is an extra five bucks a month. So you feel like you're paying 15 bucks a month for a $20 a month package. When all the Apple sheep mines are turned off, you think to yourself, hey, I'm making a bargain. I'm only spending 15 bucks a month and I'm getting Apple Arcade for free. But it all comes down to the mentality here, you see. Apple knows that you probably don't care about TV Plus because all they have is Wild Nights. Ooh, the Wild Nights. I can't wait to watch that one. So you're spending that that extra $5 on a subscription service you're probably not that interested in because you're actually getting two options that would ordinarily cost you 10 bucks. This is the game of bundling. This is how companies make you feel like your money is being used worthwhile. And depending on how much you use it, it totally could be. I may be making this out to be that Apple chairman just sit around a table all day and think, <laughs> how can we collect more cash from the world today? But at the same time, like if you're planning on subscribing to all these services, then bundles are still a good thing. There's nothing wrong there. I won't be paying for that though because the highest score I can get in mini motorways is 500 days and I've already destroyed two of my iPads playing the game out of frustration. But there's a much bigger picture a lot of people have in mind for the bundle subscription and that is for Apple to make kind of an Amazon Prime competitor. For those who don't know, Amazon Prime, which was designed by Ninja over on Twitch so that he could have everybody Twitch Prime him for free and make more money, this is one of the most successful subscription services ever launched in America. So many people subscribe to it, it's on par with the success of Netflix because of how many perks it has offered to it between the free two day and now one day shipping, Prime Video streaming, which still has commercials in it, and it has a sequel series to The Office starring Jim Halpert, but Dwight is nowhere to be seen. I was very confused watching it. But they also have Amazon Prime Music, Amazon Cloud Storage, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. They took a bunch of services and put them into one giant subscription service, and that's what a lot of people would actually like to see Apple do with Apple Prime or Apple Plus or something really simple like that. The idea is you would take all of Apple's subscription services, put them together in a way that if you bundle them, then they're cheaper than paying for them individually. So let's break down what Apple services they offer today. First of all, Apple Care Plus is now available in a monthly form. So for your iPhone, they could include that at just 10 bucks a month. Depending on which iPhone you have, it might be a little bit more or a little bit less. If you're broke and you have an iPhone 11, it could be a little bit cheaper. Or if you flex that midnight green, it may cost a little bit more. It just depends. So we have Apple Care Plus, we have iCloud storage options, which maxes out at $10 a month, which grants you two terabytes of iCloud storage, which is really helpful for all the memes I screenshot. Then we've had Apple Music at 10 bucks a month for a while now, Spotify's best friend, and we also now have added this year, Apple TV Plus, Apple News Plus, and Apple Arcade. Now, the other service they did launch this year is Apple Card, but I really don't know how they could incorporate that into the single one bundling plan option because it's free to use, you know, it's literally free titanium and if you haven't signed up for it yet there's something wrong with you but maybe an idea I had is that if you paid for the Apple Plus or Apple Prime subscription and you wanted all of these services in one bundle maybe if you were an Apple card user it would give you a lower price or perhaps if you were an Apple card user your APR which for you non credit card users means the interest rate on the credit card could be lowered than what it is for everyday use so if you add up what all these subscription services maxed out would cost you 
Give me a second here. I wrote it down. It would end up being around $50 a month. So obviously the idea with the bundle is you make people think they're saving money by getting all of these services, even though we're all completely aware, no one with a brain is going to pay for Apple News Plus, given it's literally just the news with GIFs. That's all it is. There's some motion pictures while you're reading the news and people pay 10 bucks a month for that because I require the utmost quality in my journalism and Twitter just doesn't cut it for me. That's fine, I'm just hazing you. If you pay for Apple News Plus, it's fine. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it. I just think it's a little expensive. I search my piggy bank every other day and I can't find enough in the budget for Apple News Plus because gifts are free. Last time I checked, if I wanted to see motion pictures, I would just go on the YouTube and watch videos there. But sure, you can pay to have things moving with News Plus too. So my grand idea is that if you wanted to subscribe to all of these services at once, that means paying monthly for your Apple Care, two terabytes of iCloud storage, Apple Music, TV Plus, News Plus, and Apple Arcade, that Apple would bundle them all for around 40 bucks a month, therefore saving you 10 bucks a month if you paid for all of them individually. And now that I say it out loud, it feels stupid, so screw it, knock it down to 35 bucks a month. Then you feel like you're saving quite a bit because you're getting a $50 of value each month for only 35 bucks. And then this is my last little cherry on top of the Sunday. What if for the rich boys who like to flex with the Apple card, they were capable of lowering that monthly price another five bucks? And a lot of you may think, what's in it for Apple? I mean, if we lowered that Apple Plus subscription service to $30 a month and you get all these perks, wouldn't Apple start losing money on these customers? Well, don't worry. I thought of that with my big brain. The whole purpose and ideology of getting people to sign up with the Apple card is it starts to loop in your credit score with the operating system you use because at this point the only way to pay off the Apple card is through your iPhone or your iPad there's no website that you can pay the Apple card off with which means that if you want to cancel your Apple card which <laughs> why would you that's why they made it out of titanium you can't physically cut the card like I've tried to with so many of my other ones but I have those stupid plastic scissors and they don't cut the old credit cards very well it, it's a long story the point is it's actually bad for your credit score to cancel the credit card. Therefore, it would keep more people attached to the iOS ecosystem because they feel like their credit score and their credit history is now linked in with that. So switching away from an iOS device and moving towards, heaven forbid, an uh, Android of some kind, or if someone was really, really dumb, a Pixel 4, they would just not even consider it because they would be missing out on such a great bundle deal that the competition is just gonna not have anything to go up against. They're not gonna be able to wrap up their music streaming, a TV subscription service, a gaming service, the new service, their warranty, and their iCloud storage of two terabytes. Switching all of that away is just gonna be so dang complicated, and since the competition really doesn't have an ecosystem that can rival that, Apple has us all locked down in the walled garden and we're all chained to the floor. Except we like it. So there's probably a better analogy, but I can't think of one. In other words, one man's curse, one man's prison is another man's dream. You know, I love the idea of buying and owning my own house, but someone else may hate the idea of of a mortgage they have to pay off for years and may just prefer living in an apartment that they pay monthly that they can move out of at any time and not really have any debt. That's basically what Apple Plus or Apple Prime would be for the masses. If you're really integrated into iOS and you know that there's basically not a chance in heck that you're ever going to consider switching to an Android, then yeah, you can just pay for all of these at a discounted price at 30 bucks a month that ordinarily would cost you 50 bucks a month and you feel like you're saving money and getting an incredible suite of features, which I have to admit, as much as I joke about tethering people down to iOS, I know I'm not going to be switching to an Android anytime soon, and the idea that you have this huge collection of games that don't have any ads or in-app purchases, plus you're going to have a bunch of magazine subscriptions that aren't costing you anything extra, they're just part of that Prime subscription, and you're getting the TV Plus originals like Wild Nights. Ooh, man, that show looks good. Plus all the music you could ever want and not having any storage options because you've got two terabytes to back up to and you don't have to worry about your phone dropping because if it does, you can very cheaply have it repaired at an Apple store. I could see a lot of people going for that. I think this would be an incredibly successful subscription service and even though every tier of the subscription there is would probably make less money individually because they have people subscribing to all of them, then in the long run, it probably works out for Apple and they can finally be begin construction on Apple Campus 2, which is going to be a giant square right next to the circle. Rumor is real estate is very, very cheap in the Bay Area, so Apple wants to jump on that opportunity. Anywho, those are my ideas for Apple subscription bundling options. I want to hear yours. Obviously, you guys can just pick and choose the one you want. What if they bundled Apple Music with nothing else? 
and then made it two dollars a month thank you jeffrey i appreciated that thought process you were very very smart on this but yeah i also kind of like the idea of letting people pick and choose like you can just select the services you want and they'll give you a discounted price from bundling apple likes to make things simple and easy to understand so we'll find out soon enough once tv plus launches that's probably when they'll start announcing bundles but again let me know what you're thinking by hitting me up over on twitter or joining our discord this is your apple sheep here and i have a very good credit score take care